It was extremely difficult. Just everything happened so fast. Aziza Breda remembers how her son Hytham started having seizures at 16. In a matter of months, Hytham went from a smart high school sophomore soccer player to living out his final days in a vegetative state. They were very sure that he just had epilepsy. And then within a month, we were in the emergency room at least like 50 times. Doctors didn't know what was happening until genetic testing revealed Hytham suffered from Lafora disease, an ultra rare inherited neurodegenerative disorder caused by gene mutations. Soon as we found out, he lost his mobility, uh, started having quite a few seizures, like between 25 to 75. And at the end, it ended up being like 200 a day. Hytham lost control of his muscles and mind. He couldn't eat, sleep, see, or speak. He died in October 2019, one month shy of his 18th birthday. Ten days after the Brady family buried Hytham, his younger brother, Jihad, had his first seizure. I, as a mother, knew right then and there, my family is forever broken. And to find out, you know, 10 days after you bury your child, that your other child now has to suffer the same fate as his brother. Genetic testing confirmed their suspicions. Jihad, who is also autistic, had Lafora's disease. Everything that I dealt with Gigi are the burden of everything I had to go through to get Hytham help and it still wasn't enough to know that I have to do it again. I mean, this is how many different ones is he taking? Because the disease is so rare, doctors don't know how to treat it. Multiple epilepsy medications only do so much. Patients need constant care, which makes it difficult for parents to work. The Brady family recently found support from Chelsea's Hope Organization based in California. Particularly heartbreaking disease because these kids grow up perfectly normal. Um, my daughter died when she was 18. We didn't see a sign of this until she was 60. Since he lost his daughter from the devastating disease, Frank Harris, the president of Chelsea's Hope, has helped the organization connect families, raise money for research, treatment, and eventually a cure. For the first time, there's hope. A pharmaceutical company believes they have developed a cure. A clinical trial is expected to begin in 2022. It's really exciting, but it's not happening fast enough. I have gone to every Lafora funeral in the United States since my daughter died. And I'm really have, looking forward to not having to do that anymore. For Jihad, who is at the beginning stages of Lafora disease, time is running out. Aziz and her husband just learned their daughter does not have the disease, but are waiting to test their youngest son. As a child, you know, he's five. He shouldn't have to worry about dying. The family could really use your support if you'd like to donate to their GoFundMe account or learn more about LaFora's disease and Chelsea's Hope. We put those links on our website, fox2detroit.com. I'm Taryn Asher, Fox 2 News.